Hi, I'm Maya. I'm so happy you could join me today. I will be your host for today's tour of one of my favorite places in the whole world, Nicholas Children's Hospital. I'll tell you more about my story later, but first, I'm standing here at the entrance of the Advanced Pediatric Care Pavilion of Nicholas Children's, where all the magic begins. This beautiful six-story bed tower is here today because of support of friends like you. Nicholas Children's Hospital sees nearly a quarter million patients a year as the premier provider of all things health for kids like me in South Florida. We even serve kids from over 100 countries around the world too. Our hospital is the only freestanding pediatric hospital in the region. If you've lived here in South Florida a while, you might know us by our previous names, Miami Children's or Variety Children's. The hospital just celebrated its 70th birthday. Can you believe it? 70 years? And today we are called Nicholas Children's in honor of a $60 million donation from the Nicholas Children's Healthcare Foundation, established by longtime supporters Jack and Barbara Nicholas. How cool is that? More fun facts. Our emergency department alone is one of the most visited ERs in the nation, seeing 90,000 patients a year. Other hospitals send really sick kids to our intensive care unit so they can get the very best care. The Life Flight Critical Care Transport Team brings about 4,000 children here, either by ambulance, helicopter, or even a fixed-wing airplane. Once they get here, these kids are in good hands. I know from experience. Our next stop is telehealth. Nicholas Children's Pediatric Virtual Care has been around since 2013. But as you might imagine, we have seen a huge increase since the COVID-19 pandemic. Come to Eracle cool Command Center, where doctors can do patient consults. Oh, hey, look, it's Dr. Aftab. Oh, hi, Maya. So good to see you. These are my new friends. They've come to see what Nicholas Children's is all about. Can you tell us more about telehealth? I know it's really popular lately. Sure. Telehealth is a very cool program at Nicholas Children's Hospital. It allows us to use sophisticated technology to do patient visits from their home. So using a phone or an iPad, you can connect with your doctor. We have 24 different pediatric specialists that are doing telemedicine visits. We went up to 30,000 visits just in the past several months, which is a 9,000% increase from prior year. Wow, that's so cool. See you around, Dr. Aftab. See you around, Maya. Now, let me take you to visit some of the other must-see areas of our hospital. Let's begin with the doctor who touches hearts in more ways than one. The heart program at Nicholas Children's is a leading cardiac program in the nation. It is home to the Cardiac Intensive Care Unit, which was the first cardiac intensive unit in the southeastern U.S. Follow me. Hey, Dr. Burke. Hey, Maya. What's up? Nothing much. Glad I caught you. Could you tell my friends here a little bit more about the heart program? Absolutely, Maya. The heart program provides care for children with congenital heart defects, some of the most complex defects in the world. You see, the congenital hearts are not like any other heart. Every heart is like a snowflake, completely different. So to plan these complex operations, we use some of the coolest technology in the world. 3D printing, augmented reality, everything we can get for an edge, we'll use. And a model like this helps us plan an operation so we can do it fast and gently. And that allows these hearts to keep on beating for a lifetime. And that's what we do every single day. That was amazing. Come on, let's go meet my friend Dan. Hey Dan, how are you? Hi Maya, I'm so glad to see you. You too. Want to share a little bit about your story with our new friends? Yes, hi, I'm Dan and I'm a patient at Nicholas Children's Hospital. When I was 11 years old, I was diagnosed with epilepsy and I came to see the staffs right here at the Brain Institute. Hey Dan, hey Maya. Hi Dr. Nazi. I was just telling our friend here about my little journey at Nicholas Children's Hospital. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what your team does here in the Brain Institute? Sure, here? I'd love to. So the Brain Institute is composed of the divisions of neurosurgery, neurology, neuropsychology, and genetics, allowing the ability to provide multidisciplinary care to children afflicted with neurological conditions. Two of the programs that we're regional leaders in are the epilepsy program as well as a neuro-oncology program. Our neurology colleagues are able to localize the foci of epileptic activity to allow us to be able to resect it effectively, and we can effectively use our intraoperative MRI machine to be able to resect brain and spinal cord tumors. Wow, thanks Dr. Niazi. I'll see you guys later. I have to go catch up with a friend of mine who always has my back. Bye. 
Next stop, the Spine Center. Nicholas Children's is one of the largest orthopedic providers for kids in Florida. Did you know that Nicholas Children's is not just a hospital? At our network of outpatient centers, we serve everyone from Martin County down to Monroe County. Hey, Dr. George, do you have a minute? Oh, of course, I always have a minute for you. I just wanted to stop by so you could tell some of our friends about all the th neat things you do. Absolutely. Here at the Nicholas Children's Spine Center, we see thousands of patients a year who come to us with potential spine problems. Diagnosis usually starts with evaluation and our low-dose EOS machine to help us figure exactly uh, what's going on with the patient. We do several hundred surgeries a year with our goal to get the patient back to doing exactly what they love. Wow, thanks for the info, Doc. I gotta run now. I'm late for meeting some of my best friends in the whole world. Okay, great. Well, don't let me hold you back. Get it? Hold you back? This is why he's a doctor and not a comedian. Anyways, let's go. There's so much more to see. Now I'm taking you to Sixth Tower, home of the Cancer and Blood Disorders Center. Here, doctors and nurses care for more kids with these health issues than any other facility in South Florida. They do lots of research and offer the latest interventions and therapies to help kids get better. Maya! Hey guys! Hi. I was just bragging to my new friends a moment ago about you guys. When I was nine years old, I was diagnosed with a really rare type of bone cancer, osteosarcoma. And ever since, I've been treated right here at Nicholas Children's Hospital. I can't begin to express the love I have for the doctors and nurses and everyone here at Nicholas Children's, who's always went above and beyond for me and my family. Finding out I was sick wasn't easy, but when you have a friend by your side who's going through the exact same thing, it's really special. Meet my best friend, Victoria. Hi guys. Victoria was diagnosed with osteosarcoma too. We came to the hospital on the same week. Yep, that's right. I'll never forget the first time I received a note from Maya. And from that day on, we became best friends. We did so many fun activities together here at the hospital. Maya was even there on my big day when I rang my bell to celebrate the end of my treatment. That's right. We played with the therapy dogs, did arts and crafts in the lobby, or right here on the sixth tower, joked around with the healthy humor clowns. And I went to my first baseball game. My all time favorite was singing with our amazing music therapist, who always made me smile, even when I was sad. I'll always remember when I got to ring the bell too. Everyone was cheering me on. I love you guys. Well, that was fun. Speaking of fun, I have one more stop on our tour. I promise it will be worth it. Let's go. Going down. The hospital really does a great job to make us feel at home. My family even has a place to go to for extra support and comfort. And here we are, the Michael Fuchs Center. Are you ready for this? It has amenities like a kitchen, laundry, gym, business center, library, even a movie theater. So many things that make families feel better. I hope you saw how special this place is today. Remember when I mentioned the hospital turns 70 years old? Well, community support has always been an important part of Nicholas Children's, even from the beginning, when neighbors each donated $1 towards the first building. Even this space here was possible because of donor support. Nicholas Children serves some of the most underserved and uninsured families in the state, so we rely on community support from friends like you to continue providing the best care. Here's how you can help kids like me. Learn more and get connected and explore all the ways you can give back. Go to give.nicholaschildrens.org and thanks for coming along with me today. From all the kids at Nicholas Children's, thank you for making a difference. Bye.